my makeup is giving very dewy looks honestly i don't even know how that's like a trend for makeup because i just look sweaty and oily but it's not it's like people like the dewy look do i look stylish fashionable on trend with the makeup it's actually crazy though how like makeup works because i'm not gonna go into that spiel that has nothing to do with what we're talking about today and what we're watching today so we're not gonna do that oh boy adhd brain and just is happening i was supposed to start filming two hours ago but i found many here, other things to do and now that i'm sitting before my makeup was done I'm ready to go but i, I feel I'm ready to ready before actually and it's gonna happen it, so. What's up guys, it's Ange, and today we're gonna be watching Back to the Future. I have been requested this movie and franchise, I don't know how many films there are, I think there are three, or four. Three. Four? I don't know, I don't know. I always say things matter-of-factly, thinking I know the information, and then I switch it up last second. I seriously don't know, I don't know why I even say, there's three movies! I, there, I don't know, I don't know if there are. I should just stop doing that in my intros because that gets annoying. I, I Trust me, I know. <laughs> it's the first time that I am checking out this franchise. I know I'm a disgrace. How am I into movies if I haven't seen Back to the Future? I get it. That's why we're changing it right now. Today, October 28th. And, I, and you guys are going to come along for the ride. <laughs> Before we begin, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet already, so you can stay tuned to all my content. I post two to three times a week. Follow me on all my social media. All my handles will be in the description below. And follow me on Twitch. I live stream every so often. I don't really have a schedule anymore. And I'm playing Baldur's Gate right now. So come along and join us for join me to play Dungeons and Dragons, pretty much. <laughs> If you guys want to check out the full-length uncut commentary to this movie, make sure you check out my Patreon page where you can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Alrighty, y'all, let's jump straight into the commentary. Wait, 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 wait. Steven Spielberg made these films? I knew I was uncultured, but there's no way I was that uncultured. I'm probably gonna love this. I already know that I'm gonna love this. I'm a huge Spielberg fan. I'm such an idiot. I knew I was uncultured, but goddamn, I am uncultured. Uh, I am embarrassed, honestly. Hello, anybody home? Einstein, come here, boy. I love how they named the dog Einstein. That's so cute. I know Doc is like a crazy old man, genius man, right? He's probably the one that created the time travel and all these other little contraptions. <gasps> There's the plutonium that was stolen. I'm dead. Um, I also know that Rick and Morty's characters were based off of Doc and Marty, which I think is great because I love Rick and Morty. I haven't done a Rick and Morty reference in so long. Um, you're gonna burn your eardrums. <laughs> okay, forget eardrums. You're about to die via sound. Why would you max out on all the inputs? First of all, never max out the inputs and then plug in your guitar. You wanna make sure everything's off and plug it in first. Oh, I love that 80s sound. It's so good. Why are you guys? I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. Too loud? What does that even mean? It's music. You're playing music. How can you be too loud? I'll just lower the volume for you on my amp. Will that help? That jacket is fire. I want his jacket. His denim bomber puffer. It's kind of puffy. I like it. What happened to that car? That's your car? Doc's car? That bomber is so cute, I want it. Your insurance should pay for it. I, I want to know who's going to pay for this. I spilled beer all over when that car smashed into me. Who's going to pay my cleaning bill? And uh, where's my reports? Oh. Uh, this guy's a jack butt. I see you later, Pop. Woo! Come on, time to change that oil. <laughs> hey, Marty. That's the laugh? That's the laugh that y'all were referencing? Evan? Movies in depth? Okay, maybe I laugh like him, but that's just disrespectful. He's a loser. <laughs> I'm not a loser. <laughs> I 
hate how it's accurate. But he's doing it like on purpose, making the laugh super like obnoxious and comical. But that's literally how I laugh. That's so bad. I'm going to be so self-conscious when I laugh now. Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. Party. Hey, Rick. I mean, Doc. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. Oh, my gosh. Don't send him alone, though. I would never do that, but I would totally bring him with me. <laughs> Sick. Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? Out of a DeLorean? That's so cool. The construction made the flux dispersal. Look out. <gasps> oh, you guys had a minute to get out of the way and you still almost got hit. Okay, make sure the dog's okay. Make sure Einstein's good. I don't care about anything else. I only care about the doggo. <laughs> oh, thank God he's good. Here's a red letter date in the history of science. November 5th, 1955. Yes, of course. Look at his face. He's so happy. They found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Who found you? Who do you think? The Libyan! <gasps> no way! But also, why are they in a Volkswagen van? Don't do it. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, and he's gonna go into the future, but he's gonna forget a particle. He's gonna forget another. You need more plutonium, but then you're gonna. Ah, he's gonna go to the future. Oh no, he's gonna go to the past. He's gonna go to the past because it's set to the day that he thought of time travel, and and he's gonna meet younger Doc. Oh my gosh, that's such a cool plot. That's such a good setup. That's awesome. Ah! like an airplane without wings. All right, the 50s had cars, but I guess not cars that look like that. Sorry about your barn. Oh my gosh, that freaking scared me. Oh, I pine away! <laughs> my pine! I'm dead. And now let's jump straight back to the future with Future Ange for the sponsor for today's video. <laughs> Seamless segue. Rocket Money is an all-in-one personal finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. It has helped its members save over a billion dollars today and counting. All by managing your subscriptions, lowering your bills, building custom budgets, and growing your savings. I know you guys relate to this. It is super frustrating trying to find how to cancel a subscription for anything nowadays. I'm over here trying to solve calculus and equations trying to cancel a subscription. Fumbling like with a Rubik's Cube. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. All right, you get it. You guys don't need any more metaphors. Well, Rocket Money can safely and securely identify reoccurring charges and cancel unwanted subscriptions for you all in just one tap. Trying to save money for a car or a home? Monitor your credit with Rocket Money. It alerts you of important changes that might impact your score and provides insight on how to improve it. My personal favorite feature of this app is its ability to negotiate bills for me. My least favorite part of becoming an adult is like bills. And you know me, I'm gonna try to do everything I can to get those bills down and the cost of living as low as possible. And Rocket Money does just that for me. By simply uploading a photo and tapping a button, Rocket Money will negotiate your bills for you. From internet service bills, to cable, to phone bills, you name it. Head to rocketmoney.com slash Angelina or click the link in the description below to get started for free. Or you can unlock even more features with premium. Big thanks again to Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video. And now back to the commentary. Hey kid, what'd you do, jump ship? Five cent coffee. What's with the life preserve? The vest. Hey McFly, what do you think you're doing? F. Hey, I'm talking to you, McFly, you Irish bug. Oh, hey, Biff. Hey, guys. No way! He was sitting next to his dad? Wow, nothing has changed. Wow, once a bully, always a bully. Also, what kind of name is Biff? Oh. No, George, what are you doing? That's creepy as hell. He's a peeping Tom. <laughs> Oh, 
Another one of these damn kids jumped in front of my car! Another? This wasn't the first time this has happened to you, sir? What kind of life do you lead? Been asleep for almost nine hours now. Nine hours? That's gotta be not good. Take the fool to the hospital! You're my mom. You're my mom. My name is Lorraine. But you're... Uh, you're so... Uh... <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Calvin. Clyde? Girl, what you doing? You just met a stranger off the street who was knocked out for nine hours. You took stripped his clothes and now you're this close to him? Serial killer like! Do you know where Riverside Drive is? On the other end of town, a block past Maple. Uh, block past Maple, that's uh, that's John F. Kennedy Drive. Who the hell is John F. Kennedy? Ha <laughs> ha! I was gonna say that's that's like 20 years from 55, right? Actually, is that wrong? John what? Or no, maybe he's 60s? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops, that was that was my bad. This is another 10 years later, about, around. Who the hell is John F. Kennedy? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Why does he look the same? <laughs> you gotta help me. You were the only one who knows how your time machine works. Time machine. But you thought about it today, didn't you? Who's president of the United States in 1985? Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan? The actor? Then who's vice president? Jerry Lewis. <laughs> Just wait till you hear what happens in 2018, sir. You were standing on your toilet and you were hanging a clock and you hit your head on the sink when you came up with the idea for the flux capacitor. How'd you know that? <laughs> He's like, you got me there. Facial expressions are everything to me. I love it. Doc is instantly my favorite character. Look at me. I'm an old man. Hey, I'm, I'm an old man. You kind of look exactly the same, sir. But I need a nuclear reaction to, to generate the 1.21 gigawatts. 1.21 gigawatts! 1.21 gigawatts! <laughs> gigawatts. Great Scott! Where are you running? For the only power source capable of generating 1.21 gigawatts of electricity is a bolt of lightning. Fortunately, you never know when or where it's ever gonna strike. We do now. On the clock! On the freaking clock! Strike the clock tower precisely 10.04 p.m. next Saturday night! Wait, that's awesome! <laughs> 10.04 next Saturday, I was uh, connected the dots right when he said bolt of lightning. I know where there's gonna be a bolt of lightning. We're sending you back to the future. Okay, all right, Saturday's good, Saturday's- Whoa, he like looked at the camera for a second. Right? And then he went past the camera. Kinda, I hate it when the characters look at, uh, at camera and make the camera aware, but that one was worked. That one was good! He was pointing at the audience, 1985, pointing at you guys and then went past to go back into character, go back into, you know, I'm not aware of you guys, what are you talking about? Oh, that was so good. Lorraine? Calvin! How's your head? Uh, oh my gosh, she's mesmerized by Marty. What are their common interests? What do they like to do together? He's a loser, she's a drunk. You stick to your father like glue and make sure he takes her to that dance. You got time. You might as well. You're here until next Saturday. I think she'd rather go with somebody else. Biff. Biff? Shut your filthy mouth. I'm not that kind of girl. Yeah, she's not. She's still not that type of girl to this day. 1985. Get your meat hooks off. Oh, yeah. You realize how big he was once he stood up, huh? So why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? Make like a tree? Make like a tree and get out of here? That's, that's kind of dumb. Also, Lorraine, you are kind of that girl. Don't get me wrong. If you don't want Biff, that's one. Th I totally get that. But my ass, you're not that type of girl. You were all over Marty being like, I've never seen purple underwear before. <laughs> Tell her destiny brought you together. Tell her that she is the most beautiful girl you've ever seen in the world. Girls like that stuff. He's taking notes. <laughs> he looks so disheveled. <laughs> He's so nervous. The actor is doing great. Whoever's playing George. Give me a milk. Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I? I'm like, oh, I can't I'm hyper aware of my laughing now. But also that was such a good moment. Lou, give me a milk. <laughs> Reese, 
you like that, huh? Except for Reese, it would have been plain milk, not chocolate. And reply. <laughs> yeah, get him, McFly. What's that? That's Calvin Klein. I'll get it back to you, alright? Oh, he's using it as a skateboard? That's epic. Wait, that's awesome. <laughs> Thingies, huh? It's a board with wheels. It's an absolute dream. Was there not skateboards in the 50s? How much of this is really accurate? Let me know. Put in the comments down below. Because I'm sure you guys know more facts about this film than I do. I'm gonna ram him. You're gonna ram him. As in you're gonna murder him. Nice! <laughs> Manure hauling. That's a bunch of poop. Where does he come from? Yeah, where does he live? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. She is so into Marty. It's so weird. They found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Oh, Run for Marty! Oh, hi, Marty. I didn't hear you come in. Oh, it's kind of sad. It's your mom! She's trapped you down! There's no way, girl, how'd you find me? How did you know I was here? I followed you. S girl, you're s mad creepy. Hey, uh, Doc. My yeah, uncle. Doc. Brown. Wait, so Doc and Marty were never related? Marty, this... <laughs> the crazy eyes! I can't! Every time he just goes... Is everything to me. I thought they were related, but it was because I'm confusing them with Rick and Morty right now. <laughs> On the night that I go back in time, you will be shot by terrorists. Please take whatever precautions are necessary to prevent this terrible disaster. Marty. Do not open until 1985. That's kind of genius. Okay, we still got an issue here, though, because uh, George and Leanne, or whatever her name is, Still not together. So, there might not be a future for him to jump back to, is what I'm concerned about. Uh, Lorraine, Lorraine, what are you doing? You shouldn't drink. Why not? Because you might regret it later in life. Because she still drinks. Yeah, girl, you do want to kind of lay off the alcohol that it's going to bite you in the butt in the future. Marty, why are you so nervous? <laughs> Have you ever- Don't check out your mother, sir! He is bugging out. You know what I do in those situations? No, I don't want to know, honey. I don't worry. <laughs> no! <laughs> he is stunned. It's like I'm kissing my brother. Yeah, it's because you're kissing your son. <laughs> He caused 300 bucks damage to my car. Oh, this is kind of perfect. Oh, this is perfect because Biff is going to be a jackass and George is going to come right in time. Hey, you, get your damn hands off. Yeah, get your hands off her. George, help me, please. Just turn around. Save your girl. You leave her alone. Yeah! That's going to do the job. That's Steph going to woo her. Are you kidding me? Look at him going for it! He didn't stand a chance, but at least he had the courage to do it. <laughs> Kick his ass, George! Punch him in the face! <laughs> nice! Yo, who knew you got a swing on you? Let's go, you knocked him out! KO! KO! He's like, I did it! He's so happy! He's like, oh my god, I did it. Look at Marvin's hand. He can't play with his hand like that. Oh, yeah, they got a kiss at the dance. Hey, man, the dance is over. Unless uh, you know somebody else that can play the guitar. <laughs> Cuts to Marty playing the guitar. Oh, and they're gonna kiss. Um, This is so sweet and wholesome. Grab McFly, I'm cutting in. She, she doesn't want to go with you. Oh, he is not feeling good. They got a kiss. Excuse me. You got it, buddy. Do it, George! Kiss your girl! Yay! The magical photo is back intact! They came right back. All they had to do was smooch. Watch me for the changes and try and keep up, okay? Yeah! Get it, Marty! 
Oh, they all love George now? That's great. Yeah, that music didn't exist yet, sir. I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet. Definitely not. <laughs> but your kids are gonna love it. <laughs> That's a little too rock and roll for them. You gotta give it another decade. If you guys ever have kids, and one of them, when he's eight years old, accidentally sets fire to the living room rug, go easy on him. Go easy on him. Marty, such a nice name. <laughs> of course you think so. Damn, where is that kid? <laughs> damn, damn. <laughs> you would think that he would want to be early for an event like this. I didn't know he had an enemy. He's never stood up to him in his life. Ever. No, oh, why? What's the matter? All right. <laughs> He's like, well, I hope that doesn't come to bite us in the ass later. <laughs> Let's send you back at exactly the same time. It'll be like you never left. Can you send him earlier so he can save Doc? Thank you. Aww. I would cry. What's the meaning of this? My dad, 30 years. It's about the future, isn't it? I refuse to accept the responsibility. What? Great God. He's got to fix that. Get into the car right now. Just send him a few minutes earlier and then you can save Doc. Come on. Would that be bad though? Because then there'd be two Martys? Maybe. <laughs> Doc's actor, everything to me. What a finale. I have to tell you about the future. No, dude, you gotta go. Look at the time. You got less than four minutes. You gotta go. There's no time, literally, to play. I got all the time I want. I got a time machine. I can just go back early and warn him. That's what I'm saying. You got it, Doc. You got it. You can do it. You can do it. Stretch like you've never stretched before. Uh, Hello? Ain't no way that that thing gave out. How old is that building? Oh, gosh. This is literally everything that could be going wrong is happening right now. <laughs> Oh no, you have to start driving now! The alarm went off! No way that worked. He hit the freaking wheel with his head and that, that worked. No way. You should have secured all of this way better. Sir. No way he zipped lying down so that he can make the connection. He literally just made it. There's no way. That's so cool. That's literally so cool. And he's gone just like that. They freaking did it. <laughs> oh, he's so happy. Hi, Doc. Or else you're going to jail, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was that a transition? Of course he rammed into the building. But he has 10 minutes to save Doc. Wait, 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 wait. This is literally amazing. That was a great transition. I like how they did that with the camera. To go back to the, to the clock and then come back down. That's great. No. It's not gonna run on anything. You don't got plutonium. It's not gonna run. <gasps> the van though. Go run, run. <laughs> Oh, he didn't make it. Oh, he's watching this all happen. 10 minutes definitely didn't do it. You should have put down 20 minutes or something. No way. Did you wear a bulletproof vest? Huh? Bulletproof vest. He read the letter? He taped up the letter. He taped up the letter. I knew it! Oh my god, the full circle moment! Well, I figured. What the hell? Nice! He's like, bro, I'm old now. To hell with space-time continuum! I read the freaking letter. Oh, I'm glad he gets to try it now for himself. What the hell is this? Breakfast. Is everything better now? They're all rich now and, like, cool? I always wear a suit to the office. That's... Awesome. That's why. Were yeah. you cheating? And he's he's all awesome. Oh my god, I love it! And the dad's no longer a loser. They look fantastic. 
George. <laughs> I love that. Oh, my, I almost forgot Jennifer Parker called Marty. She is such a sweet girl. Aren't you going up to the lake tonight? You've been planning it for two weeks. Ah, uh, and she's not like a prude anymore. I want to make sure that we get two coats of wax this time, not just one. Yeah, Biff, what a character. Wow, Biff is buffing out the car for them. I love that. That's hilarious. And now his life is like freaking amazing because he just like gave George confidence. <gasps> he made a book. He made a sci-fi book. He got the truck. He has the truck. Yo, thank God you went to the past. Your life is way better now. How about a ride, mister? Jennifer. Marty, you're acting like you haven't seen me in a week. Is everything all right? Aww. Everything is great. Oh, wait, this is so cute. I love this ending. Oh, he's back. It looks like he fixed the ice problem. <laughs> Look at what he's wearing. What are you doing? Why are you collecting bananas? I need fuel. Oh my God, he came back with a better system for the time machine. Both you and Jennifer turn out fine. It's your kids, Marty. Something has got to be done about your kids. <laughs> That's so good. That's awesome. We better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Where we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> I love he totally rigged it out. I was going to say he fixed the ice problem. He must have way more upgrades. That's awesome. Talk is my favorite. Where we're going, we don't need roads. And he flipped down his like shades that are not, they're like fully opaque. <laughs> That's hilarious. That was so good. <laughs> friends, friends, family, subscribers, non-subscribers, viewer, whoever you are. That was such a good time. I can't believe it took me so long to watch that movie. I could watch that whole thing over again right now. Oh, this is so good. Oh, man. It's really funny because I'm watching this and I'm like, I, I, we've seen like this story before, you know, and it's it's been used and inspired and a lot of like stuff nowadays have taken inspiration from Back to the Future. Just off the top of my head, I can think of like these crazy ideas that like probably was directly inspired from this film. Second of all, that was just hell entertaining. I just take out all the like, I can't believe I haven't watched this and like I'm all so uncultured now, I'm cultured, whatever. That was flat out, straight up, pure entertainment. So charming. The characters were 10 out of 10. And I love the little quips of like the, Oh, uh, that's like old, so I guess you wouldn't know what this thing is. But then for me, it's like that thing is already old too, <laughs> so it's hilarious. I think that's what makes this movie so timeless, because it's it's fun. It's enjoyable to watch in any year. Hella funny. So cute. That's really all I have to say about this. I can't believe it took me this long to watch it. I'm probably gonna finish the rest of the series on the channel because I really enjoy that. I need to watch the next one right now. Leave a comment down below what you guys thought about this film when you first watched it. When did you first watch it? I know I have some older viewers as well. Did you guys watch this when this came out? How is it watching it now in 2023? I wanna hear all your thoughts and all your experiences down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed that commentary, make sure you leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet already so you can stay tuned to all my content and don't forget to check out my last video. If you if you guys want to check out the full length uncut commentary to this movie make sure to check out my patreon page we can gain full access to that and future movie slash tv shows that i do on this channel Alrighty, y'all have the best to say ever and i'll see you guys in the next one bye okay bye okay bye, bye. i can't believe how accurate that laugh is to mine george mcfly evan was right but don't tell him i said that he can't know that i said that he was right Mm-hmm. <laughs>